everybody. Welcome to Poreville. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. Okay, what are we catching the Duncan Pool doing? I bet you're getting the good stuff off in there. Yep. I said I bet you're getting the good stuff off there, huh? Yep. <laughs> like air tanks or something? Sure, what it is. No, it ain't an air tank. Well, I just seen something like. What's it say on the air tank? Dry air. What? Dry air. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. I just seen the word air. I don't know what that means. Do you know? <laughs> uh uh. It kind of sound like I know something, huh? This is probably actually aluminum. Aluminum foil like. Used to be like 12 cents a pound, but it's pretty much weightless. Kind of like the oven wrap or the we call them pans you put in the oven. Those the uh, aluminum pans. Yeah. This is stainless here, we determined. This is all the good stainless. I've had these around, we've had these around for a while. That's metal, we gotta pull that off. And I think that's extruded right there. That big this thing. is all stainless, that's extruded. So we got two of these, and we're just cutting the shell off them. So not very heavy once you... That tip feels pretty heavy, but we've got to take some more weight off there. So, yep. Let me... And, I'm going to show them the Poorville sidewalk. Okay, yeah. So this is our Poorville sidewalk. We had company for... Christmas yesterday and I told them it's kind of muddy so this is one of them uh, loading ramps for uh, the old uh, box truck I guess they're called this is the table it's pretty much froze now then we get into our ramp section and uh, Aluminum radiator, which I cleaned yesterday. You go to load ready to go in. I keep adding to it, but it's getting pretty full. I've been using the, my new uh, my new worker. Been a pretty good employee so far. I've only run uh, probably about six gallons of fuel through it. Took the bucket off, the grapple. That thing is really handy. I'm glad that that come with it. Because I would have been, probably want one for a few years before I uh, got one. So yeah, I'm going to be cleaning this all, all this, get the scrap cleaned up. And I've been in the mud. That's one of the reasons the yard's pretty tore up. It's thawed and, uh, freezing so I'm gonna what I do is I've been bringing stuff up here a little bit at a time and that's for the garbage and uh, gonna process it and bring some more up I cut that that was a 
think that was a pool heater. Cut the copper out of there. It wasn't a whole lot, but it add, all adds up. And I still, I still got to check these out. I got a new Sawzall DeWalt from Debbie Claus. I mean Santa Claus. I had to try it out yesterday. So I got a little bit of a little bit of a start there. I'm gonna I'm making another parking area right here. So yeah I got these forks fabricated a couple days ago. Just put them on here today. I gotta get these pins. I see them on the computer I so I thought well that ain't bad they're like uh, I think a dollar forty I thought I'll order two of them. Well, for to get them for a dollar forty, you had to order a hundred of them. So I think maybe I can. I didn't. I seen some, but not the exact same thing. I got to make sure if I uh, order something they fit. But they were about fourteen bucks a piece on eBay. So yeah, I brought these up. I'm gonna try to get these on there. I'm gonna cut that off. These tips are. Uh, Stainless the tops, except for this part. I think I might just unbolt that because I'll probably save them bolts. But anyway, yeah, so I did a little bit more over here. Tore apart what was left of this uh, motorhome hot water heater. this thing I'm pretty sure that's steel running through them I haven't checked it yet and I really didn't think I wanted to use up a, a blade for that little bit of aluminum I could probably throw it in dirty aluminum I'm gonna check I'm pretty sure it ain't copper though running through them I'm pretty sure that's steel piping so this I'm gonna, now that I got the forks on there, I can. I'm gonna oil up the pivot points and straighten out where I bent this, and uh, start putting my two foot on there. And I think for now, I'm gonna dump them on that trailer I bought a few months ago. Get that up here and get it fixed up in better shape so I can use it. And I can put the skid steer on that. Up. Then I got some bugs to work out with a dump truck. I'm smelling fuel and I don't know if that was when I was pouring some in. So probably got a hole in the gas tank. Maybe not. But yeah, I'm gonna clean this area up before I bring anything else over. Then that flathead I bought basically for that transmission. I'm gonna try to get it running too. But uh, I picked it up with the forks and I took that out back here. So anyway, making a little progress over here in Portville. I like these forks. That grapple's nice, but these will do things that that can't. And I had to, uh, I ain't no professional welder, but it's actually welded really good. I did it real quick, and I threw some paint on there because I wanted to get something on there before it froze. But I actually had to make a, put a spacer in there because these forks at the bottom... They have a deal like, like the fork has here at the top at the back of them, so it couldn't set flush up against that plate. So it's now will go clear. I can slide them back and forth without rubbing on the plate. And yeah, I was trying to weld, and my my glasses kept fogging up, and my mask kept fogging up. So I got, I got, uh, actually I got about three, 350, 380 in these forks, I guess. You can buy the, well, you can buy them for about 500 bucks, I think. But I think these are, these I think are 45 inch forks. And most of them come 42. So I think these are a little better quality. Than, uh, 
they sell. I'm sure they get some nicer ones they sell. I've, I've seen them quite expensive. But, man, my fingers are getting cold. I'm going to put my, my holy gloves in. Usually if I hit the gloves, I mess with the camera. Or wear, try to wear gloves. And a lot of times what I do in a video, I see my finger in here and I'm like, that ain't good. But yeah, these are pretty long clips. This door is all stainless, I'm not sure, on the hinge. But I burn a hole in this one. I'm going to find a chain that will um, go through that. I didn't want to burn too big one, weaken the fork. And somewhere I'm going to maybe weld a couple hooks on this. So, so I can drag stuff out. I thought about putting a receiver in there. Of course, then I thought about I probably never will, but I thought about writing junk and food or something in there, or Corville in that spot there. Yeah, it's all about trying to get Corville cleaned up for the most part. And some place I showed this before, but where is it? Right here. This big old magnet. I think I'm going to fabricate that on that them forks so I can just easy on and off maybe use a big plate of steel supposed to lift 1100 yeah, 1100 pounds and then this lever here you engage